Hey everyone, Kai here, and today I'm coming to you with another book review. And this time, the book is called The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Whoo, child. Gotta fan myself for this. This book was probably my favorite favorite that I read so far in fiction in a long time and the reason why I say that is because look at the cover I just want to ask you to look at the cover when I saw this cover I'm like oh this is gonna be tacky this is gonna be cheesy Ugh, I'm gonna I don't want to read that so typical so boppery I don't want to read that but in 2020 I was looking for an escape because after a while it became too much and I started to dive into reading fiction and this was something that I picked up and I think I was finished with it in a day or two like I couldn't put it down it was so juicy it was so interesting I thought I was reading about a real person and it was literally one of my favorite books and I say that because of how it ended and how the ending made me feel. And I think that's key. When this book ended, I sat with myself for like an hour and it took me three days to process the ending, okay? Like I was just trying to wrap my mind around it because I really had moments of thinking that the main character was real. And I had to keep telling myself like, Kaidi, the main character is not real. This is completely fiction. Evelyn Hugo does not exist. But let me just tell you, Evelyn Hugo is a boss, okay? She is my favorite. And I know her character is a little controversial and not some people may not like her or agree with her decisions. This was a great book and she is the epitome of like the players club use what you got to get what you want that is Evelyn <laughs> that's Evelyn so let me get into the book the book is based on obviously you see the name the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo so yes Evelyn Hugo is the main character and yes she does have seven husbands and yes we do go through each of the husbands and figuring out who and how they met and who they are but the book is so much more than that and I think the thesis or the main theme of the book ties into another main character whose name is Monique and the thesis is why Monique okay and so the book starts off with an auction. For some reason, Evelyn Hugo, she, this beautiful Hollywood icon, she's making headlines again because she's doing an auction. Why is this woman selling all of her clothes? And we go into the why and people want to know and magazines want to know. And so hence Monique, who enters the picture, who is a 30 something year old, recently divorced, struggling in her career and she's a journalist and she writes really cutting edge stories but she's right now not receiving the opportunities to do what she wants to do in terms of her career in terms of journalism and she's kind of in a rut she's in a career rut her boss is kind of like demeaning her in a way and not giving her opportunities and kind of like thinking that other people would be more qualified to you know than her pretty much and so Evelyn Hugo calls up the magazine that um Monique writes at and says she will agree to do an interview and remember this is the hottest interview this is the interview everyone wants to score so she will agree to do the interview only if Monique interviews her and so this begs the question that i said earlier which is kind of like the thesis of the whole book why monique evelyn why you can have any journalist in the world write about you write about your auctioning of dresses 
why Monique? And that's the premise of the whole book. Ultimately, what Monique is tasked with beyond a article for this journal, this magazine about um, Evelyn selling her dresses, Evelyn is asking Monique to write her life story. And again, the question is why Monique? And so as you go into the book, into the depths of Evelyn's story, you're like, oh child, Evelyn, you are a piece of work. You are a mess, but we love it. We love mess. We love, we love juiciness. We love, you know, juicy stories and secrets and all that stuff. And so that's pretty much what the book is um a page turner from beginning to end there's so many gems in here that she drops you really feel like she's like she's giving you good gossip but she's also giving you wisdom like it's not just like you know some surface area stuff one thing that the book does address in a major way and the book addresses a lot of things what it does do a good job at addressing is assimilation uh evelyn hugo is a cuban woman but she assimilates and she um she passes as a white woman no one ever questions whether she her race because she's just so beautiful but she does assimilate she loses her accent like the studios at the time they paid for her to do her hair, to just change her whole image, to uh, get like a speech person to help her lose her Cuban accent. And um, she completely assimilates. It does address what, at what cost would you lose yourself for success? Would you, like, would you, what would you change about yourself to be loved, to be liked, to be successful? And so I think that's a really, really important question because there are a lot of people who are celebrities who have completely sold themselves just for the fame and the fortune and where does that leave you at the end of the day because we all know at the end of the day what we really want is love companionship and um if you sell yourself just for a check then where does that leave you and so i think that's the biggest although i said the premise is why monique i think the biggest underlying theme is at what cost is it all worth it um so i just thought that was powerful before i close i want to share some quotes because this book it, it sort of feels like evelyn is talking to you so we know that she's talking to monique but it feels like you are hearing the story straight from the og's mouth okay and evelyn is an og she is lit uh, but she gets really mad at Monique and I, I don't know if you see but I put I love Evelyn here because um, she gets mad at Monique for trying to box her, put her into a box. And she says, don't ignore half of me so you can fit me into a box, Monique. Don't do that. I have spent my life knowing the importance of allowing people to tell you who they are instead of reducing them to labels. She says more, but that's just a Cliff Notes version. So Evelyn, she, <laughs> she's a hot mess, but I love her and I think you will love her too. So I encourage you, get this book. I dressed up like in my little leopard just to match her energy because she's hot. Um, so get the book, read it. It's one of my favorite reads and I think you would enjoy it too. All right. I will talk to you all later. Bye.